So, um, so shall we just start with the general? Are you all from this area, or do you come from a different area? Do you live here, or you still live? So where are you all coming from? from well, I'm from, I'm from, from the old area, party. and then there's she's originally Shankland. Yeah, and you're and from, from, from the Shankland. Yeah. yeah. He was a criminal. A criminal. Yeah, criminal. I banned the old part too between uh, the criminal. And the well, old. my granny was old yes. part five, maybe. Yes. Her most of the time. Uh huh. Sorry, I know you so well, Helen. Yes, it is. <laughs> but I've lived longer on the old part than I have in Shetland. She has. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Did you got married and then you moved there, uh -huh. or yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. <clears throat> we were just talking earlier on the day about like. But she said, and he said about the housing, about the difference in the housing. Yeah. When we were younger. Was closer than it. Oh, you know, far like, closer than it. And everybody helped everybody. I hardly know my neighbours now. I know. Where I'm in the front of the road. And the people had food left over. The shirt that was their it. Neighbors. Yeah. Yes. Really, I think they were really Yes. Mm -hmm. And when, when I, in, in our street, when, when I was young, uh, the, uh, we were great ones when I still am, like for eating sweets and what have you. And when the ration books come out, we, we, everybody had ration books, and there was a family in, this, in our street, and we used to um, get, my mummy would have given food. And they would give us their sweet coupons. Okay. Oh sweet like Black market. Yes. <laughs> and I had them know that set. But no, it was great. And then there was another another one that used to give um Mama used to give uh, give stuff out to them and they would have given me uh bow given their bows for my hair. Oh, That's so honestly. That was great. And you just sat outside and everybody talked you just sat as we called it the cribber. Mm -hmm. And would have sat there and talked and laughed. And you could have went out and left your door open. That's right. Nobody bothered. Oh, and now you you lock up. You you can and you're still oh, not it's horrible. But you're still not, not safe. Stayed. And there's no neighbours <laughs> now. It's, it's true. Safe. Nobody <laughs> had anything. I mean, there's only two bungalows and uh, two houses and three bungalows where I am. I don't know anybody now. Yeah. Well, the, the, the guy on each side, I know those two, but the two new people in the other house, and then I, I don't be out, so I don't see anybody. Mm. Whereas I think that back then you would definitely know your neighbours. Oh, oh gosh. You, know you knew everybody and all about them, didn't you? And you walked everywhere. Yes, you did. You walked and everywhere. And they used to have the bone fires at the 12th, and you always went up and down the streets, Malvern Street. That's right, Everton Street. Decorated. And it was really brilliant. Once again, they always had a different scene. Uh -huh. One year it was Chinese and the big lanterns. Malvern Street was brilliant. Oh, no. So was heard Everton the music Street. all over the place. Oh, it was great. It was good. Those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> Those were definitely the days, but... But it was, it was hard times. Like, oh, too, so, yeah, oh, there were hard times too. Uh -huh. Was that during the World War Two? Was that after? Was oh, after, after World War Two. Okay. Mm -hmm. After World War Two, it really was. We went to pictures on a Saturday night. Mummy and Daddy and I went to pictures on a Saturday night. And this, this night, we, were, we called it the ranch, the Kremlin. And um, we sat there... And then all of a sudden, and halfway through the picture, this thing come up, I'll never forget it, come up on the screen with Mr. William Thornton come to the... the uh, foyer. The foyer, uh -huh. And Daddy went out and he came in, he says, come on, he says, my granddad was dying, and we got over, it was too late, he was dead. Oh, no. It was terrible. You know, but we were all great. The families all stuck all together. Stuck together. It was marvellous. Every Saturday night, the, f all the whole family came to Grandas. I never knew my granny, but we came to Grandas. And we were all, the young ones were all sent to the pictures. <laughs> they stayed and had, they loved their cards, played a game of cards. Mm -hmm. It was great. Would you all go to pictures as well? Is oh. that you yes. Every week. <laughs> Every week. I don't know many picture houses I was in. <laughs> And then we were saving to get married. I never forget it. Trevor never forgot. And he says to me, <laughs> we were walking up the Antrim Road to go to the Lacey. He says to me, like, we just to tell you, we're going to have to cut this out when I just must because we're saving to get married. <laughs> and he always took me into the sweet shop and I got what sweets I want for the pictures. <laughs> so we went down there, my mum was standing. He says, oh, good evening, here you are again. He says, what would you like, what would you like? And here's me, a packet of fruit gum because he's not allowing me to spend money on sweets. <laughs> <laughs> he was raging. <laughs> <laughs> What about the others? Would you have gone to the pictures as well? I would have went to the Kremlin on a Saturday morning. 
up on Saturday matinee. Aye. Right, right. Aye. It really went down. There used to be a shop at the bottom there, at the top of Agnes Street, and you got a frozen orange juice with a triangle. Permits. Mm-hmm. Permits. And um, got one in. You had that done you the whole film. <coughs> yes. Exactly. Cheap and cheerful, but it was good. Uh, it was I remember my first day was Sally, was to the, um, the ranch. And it was the sea, summer holiday, a yeah. Fritcher's. I yeah. remember. Yeah. And we sat in room only, and we had to stand upstairs and on the balcony. And then we put you down s- and did a seat just I know, made. I know. And here's me, like, all eight years ago. Just oh. so. used to go about with the torches, uh-huh. remember? If you, if you were talking, you were. Three years. Oh, yes. That's true. Yeah, that's right. We could do, with, we could do with that nowadays because they're mostly <laughs> badly behaved. Oh, oh, no. It's very yeah. popular yeah. around here, the ranch. The stadium. Wasn't it? The stadium, oh, that's yeah. the one you would go. On the Shankle, yeah. yes. We went went to the stadium. There's pictures everywhere. And well, my great. aunts, they were the usherettes. <laughs> and, the thing, and they used to walk you around and we used to say, oh, we know them and so we'll go this way. <laughs> and they had to be walking you down to put you into your seat and we were away down the other way and down you get the other for seat. Nothing? No, you did not. <laughs> you had to pay him? You had to pay, yeah. To get you a ice cream. Um, do you remember they used to come around with the ice cream? Uh, chalk ice. Chalk ice, <laughs> that's right. Used to carry the thing in front of them. Yes, the play right. the music. It was all this. <laughs> 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 I even to go out to buy I sweets and stuff for the cinema oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. You bring your own stuff. I yeah. loved the Ritz when the organ came up. Okay. They used to come up and they used to yes. sing, sing all the music. Oh, no. How much was it in the matinee, can you remember? But yeah. still, I'm sure I've been not even. Didn't get <laughs> that off. I'm like, it was only when your mummy had the money, really. <laughs> <laughs> or she wasn't ready for some reason. <laughs> we, were, we, we were sent down all the meetings. We the gospel halls. Right. Coming at Pennant. That's right. And our Alec used to say, just put two hippies in and I will spend the other day. <laughs> 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 well, the pictures, that, would you stay within kind of like your own areas or would you go to kind of like oh, no, Catholic we Protestant City Centre to kind of all the areas? So what's the symbol well, like that? I, I, I would have, because I, I had polio, so I grew up with a mixed crowd from that had polio. So we were, the headquarters was based on the Antrim Road, but they came round in a van and picked you up twice a week. Mm-hmm. So you went all over, all over West and North Belfast. I remember the next person. one. And I'm still friends, like 60 years later, with the same people. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? We meet every Wednesday night, but it was all mixed. And it's good because we never knew the difference. I know, I know. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. You just, somebody said they were going to Mass, somebody said they were going to a communion, somebody said they yeah. were going to church. Yeah. You know, it just never. It's all one thing. All yeah. Uh-huh. And we all get on and we never, ever discuss religion. Uh-huh. You know, and then, and that was 60 years well, yes. yeah. well for a while because things got too bad mm-hmm. it had to break off I, for a while you wouldn't have asked people into your area or they wouldn't no, have for into their you area wouldn't, no yeah. so for a while a lot of years we sort of broke off and then we all met up again and mm-hmm. still, good, still yeah. going like that's good yeah. I know because we used to go to the cinema in the town but then when the bomb scars and all were on you know uh, it not. came up come up on the screen there's a bomb scar leave at your nearest exit and, and we panicked one time me and my boyfriend were going my husband and I like and we had to get out and I swore I'd never be back in the city centre in uh-huh. the cinema and I never did mm-hmm. so we used to go to the Lexa Cumber or Bangor or somewhere like that Yes. Lucky enough, he drove a motorbike and we were able to get on. Mm-hmm. So you just felt so safer? We just, just felt safer going out of the town then. Mm-hmm. You know, so. There's things that you can remember. I remember working in a clothes factory off Great Victoria Street. You called the Little Victoria Street. And the bombs today, do you remember the Friday, the bad? Yeah, the bloody Friday. And I was working that day and the bombs went off in Dublin Road. And I, I was packing away at these wee baby clothes and the next thing the ceiling came in mm-hmm. boom boom and the ceiling came in around me and I can't remember getting home and I lived in Highfield mm-hmm. I can't remember this day how I got home 
just blanked out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just it's uh, fear, isn't it? Must really? have been fear. Just mm-hmm. came out of the factory mm-hmm. and home and. One minute it was hard, but it was covered in dust and dirt, you know. So I worked in the Bell Tax, that was a stitching firm in Flax Street. And we got on great both sides. We definitely did get on well. But as the troubles were going on, and I went down, I I was married and lived in um, Half and Beck Street of Manor Street at the time. So I went up the old park and walked along Ardalee Street. Mm And just when the, uh, all but unbelievable, one person in particular that I was so great with, I couldn't believe it. We went out, we're going home this day, and we're going down the street. There was a crowd of women standing in one of the houses in Adderley Street. And when we were coming along, it says, Don't you be coming down this street again? And I had to leave the bell tax. We all had to leave the bell tax. And um, they were. We were we were told we never would get back in there again when we were to come back up, and uh, so I I left. There was no way I would have been back to work, and um, the next thing was about three weeks, four weeks later, my do- my doorbell went, and I went down to the out to the door, and it was uh, the boss, and he was called Mr. Hammerschlag. He was a, a German. He was lovely, and he came in and he says, "I'll tell you what I'm down for." He says, "I know what has happened." He says, "And there's a good lot of the st- they've, they've all left now, the workers." But he says, "I've got a place in the Donegal Road," mm. and he says, "I would want want to know would you be?" He's me, yes, definitely. Mm. So a whole lot of us that had mm-hmm. couldn't get back up again, uh, we uh, all went to the Donegal Road. But I were there for a few years, mm-hmm. and. Uh, the the one of the the our, our boss that was in uh, overs and the supervisor and work, she came with us. Now she she was a Catholic girl, and she was our our boss over in the in the Donegal Road. We had no trouble whatsoever over there, and then we were all brought to the, what do you call it? No, for and we all got money. What do you call that? You going for redundancy? Yeah, I, I, I know it's not a redundancy. Like or uh, know that when you're um, put out of anywhere and you get you 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 have a case which we all had, mm-hmm. um, because we weren't getting paid anything. I'm um, we got money. We all got money each, mm-hmm. but we had a great time there. And it was uh, there was uh, Catholics were in it to commend it too, but with no bother in the Donegal yeah. Road, but Flag Street. Oh boy. Well, you were in the heart of it then? Uh-huh. And then you had to walk over the, the, the brickyard, as you called it, mm-hmm. with bone. Was with that bone. slowly, because you said at the beginning there were great relationships Oh, we had great other. work. We would was it, great. Was it slowly? Was it's it like just, there's thing? just certain ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Certain so ones. But just in men, you wouldn't have thought of women. Mean, well, this girl in particular, oh, I couldn't. And I seen her one day in town. I, c- I couldn't look at her. No. Couldn't look at her. Here's me, you were my friend. And you were the, standing with those people that told oh, wow. us not to come back. And what do you think made attitude change uh-huh. like that? What do, what do you think made a person like her who used to go away? Maybe she, she was afraid. afraid. She, 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 could have, she could have. She could have been. She could have been. You know, but we couldn't get over it because we were. I was in there for years. I know. Loved the bell tax and it was lovely. Mr. Hamish and I coming down, and opening a place for you, and this, and we all went to it and ah, oh, what a great time in it. And her. Supervisor came with us. Mm-hmm. She lived in the Cliftonville Road. Yes. We had no trouble whatsoever, and I never, and I mean it, all my my pop chums were Catholics. Mm-hmm. I got so great with them all. Mm-hmm. I never had, I had oh, never anything. I never had anything. This girl in particular lived in the in the. Um, what do you call it? On the Springfield Road, and her daddy was a laugh, Malachi, you called him. And he would have said, now I went into Mary's, and he'd said to me, Well, now, what do we talk about? What are they? Now, you do know that um, uh, St. Patrick was a Catholic. He said, We know Malachi, he wasn't, he was a prod. <laughs> <laughs> and we had the best laughs, and we laughed. Isn't it funny? You could laugh. And I went and all to King Street, to the Irish dancing and all with her. You oh. couldn't do that now. And went to their parades and the falls. Oh, no. We she never. was frightened. It's honestly, and my mummy was the same in the, in the mills. That was before the trouble started. Yeah, my mummy was my mummy in the mills. She she would tell you that herself. All yeah. her the pa- hard her the pals. The mills worked hard and her bare feet no, didn't they? How did it turn out the way it did? In the mills. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. Worked, worked in the water. 
then go home to their families at night and look after their homes. Uh-huh. Oh, well, they're still working And then probably day. during the war. Unbelievable. And my mummy yeah. and her two sisters worked in it. Mm-hmm. And my aunt, my aunt Lizzie, that's mummy's oldest sister, she, oh my god, you've never seen it like her body, how she even is able to work in the mill. She had long, long hair, and she was standing up one day to get her thing you know, for to put her boots on. She stood up and her hair caught fire. That was in, in um, Cromwell Street, Cromwell Street, but that's where the, she lived then. Oh. And they had to put my aunt Lizzie out in the ground, and the shop at the corner came over and put a a bag of flour over <laughs> Oh, my Aunt Lizzie, she hadn't even an ear. You want to see her. You want to see her face and all. That's and she went into the mill and she became a dolphin mistress. And everybody... And there's a wee song about the dolphin mistress. Everybody mind. couldn't get over my Aunt Lizzie. I said to Mommy, Mommy, how's she working? But she wouldn't let you take her photo. I would have been at anything, she wouldn't have kept her head down. Well, we don't was. really know how lucky we are now. People at, say, toilets, bathrooms, and people years ago maybe didn't have those things. Is that right? You didn't even have electric I upstairs. Know. <laughs> things like that, you know. I think a lot of competition came whenever, you know, everybody left in the two up and two down. Yes. And everybody had the same, nothing. Really right. split in two. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. But then whenever the redevelopment came and had bigger houses, competition set in and every, who could have the nicest house then mm. and a lot of people get into debt and all trying to get oh, the nicest I, house I and, <laughs> and just, I was, you know if your neighbour got something oh I have to have that you no, know my that sort of thing and I think that's where a lot of people broke away communities mm-hmm. you know really people in streets been, yes can be rooms uh-huh yeah. and what do you think the situation is like now you know I think it's think? very serious I really do it's very materialistic Mm. Everybody wants yeah, more. Yeah. more. Yeah. They do. They they want. I mean, and everything has to be designer. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. If it doesn't have a label, it doesn't Boys suit. Mm-hmm. Really so it's my granddaughter said to me one day, "I've left my car or my phone out in the car. Oh, I better go and get it. Let me sure it'll be all right." No, Granny, it's worth more than my car. Hi. Mm-hmm. I mean, your car was worth about three fifty or four fifty. Our phone was worth over a thousand pounds. Mm-hmm. Oh, the same. It's really mm-hmm. So I says, get your priorities right. Mm-hmm. Get your priorities. Mm-hmm. That's a great advice for the generations. Isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people now live above their means. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. no shame. Definitely no. no. I mean, years ago, yeah. it was never, you know, never anybody, nobody would get out of debt. Mm-hmm. You saved up no. and bought whatever you could afford. Mm-hmm. But then, see now, it's just credit card, credit card. And it's all about it. It's still yeah. debt. Mm-hmm. It is debt. Instead yeah. of yeah. cutting their cloths according to their pattern. Yes. Uh, that's no big saying. That. <laughs> is there anything positive that you say, thank God we have this now, that we didn't have back then with electricity everywhere? Yeah. Those yes. Things. But is there anything else that you say, like, you know, the generations nowadays, they should, you know, they're doing this right or the health ways were a bit healthier, they could get yeah. health. With a good standard. People are right? living like, longer. Yeah. But I still really enjoyed my childhood. Oh. Oh, but then maybe children yeah. and our lot of years maybe say about their own childhood. Yeah. Oh, I really enjoyed it, you know. Because yeah, you wouldn't really want to go back. How could you, you know, really that? enjoy playing computer games? No. But, but you know, yeah, they're used to it. It's a different generation. I can't I'm bringing your tin bath off the It's what they're used to. I've got a mobile phone, but I can't use it. Tin bath off the way. Put the number in. And now Natalie's all the numbers in my night, and then she just be me hand and forget about it. Shocking. She, get, she st- stays with me and, and tries to get me to use it. And I'd say, Yes, that's right now. And she shows me. And then she said, I try it again. And they'd say, No. So he says, You just stick to OT and they know. And then put the numbers in. <laughs> and all their num- names are in my phone. Yeah. I think an awful lot of children, do, people don't say no to them. 100%. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? It's saying no, yeah. but sticking to it. Uh-huh. Or. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, the stairs, one, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, yeah. and I just said, my look at the children and say, <laughs> not tell you again now. But you're not allowed to smack. Scotland, Beth, you're not allowed to mm-hmm. Scotland, say pass Well, my daughter and all had a, I used to a, a wooden ladle or something yeah. the other night whenever my son's coming out. He says, I says, how's it when she says, Gladys is over there murdering them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she just stayed and they ran up the stairs. <laughs> Honestly. Huh. Did you get smacked when you were young? I actually did. Yeah. Oh, I my did. Mother, yes. my, my father, he, he couldn't do it. 
And uh, there, I remember there was once when my father, my mother wasn't there, so my father had to do it, and we were just like, if you don't stop. <laughs> yes. And then he said, I started laughing, because I was like, I can't believe he's going to do it. And then he said, he got it because it was like, so not even take it. My used to come in, she used to say to me, you don't know your love and Mavis. She says, your father never, ever done that. Trevor would have said, right, boys, come on, up the stairs, and we'll read stories and that. And I says, is that right? I says, oh, she says, he is a good fellow, like... So she went up to the bathroom and they were on like Indians. <laughs> and there's Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> and he says his father used to get this frap with his father. The toes. The toes. And he used to say to Trevor and his, his, his brother and his two sisters, nah, scream. And they went, ah, and he, he was <laughs> getting the flip bed thing. <laughs> and then the mother was always a big body, weren't you? I know. But you always got, where did your father come from? <laughs> I'm telling you, where did your daughter where come from? Where did your daughter come from? Where did your daughter come from? For me, it was the opposite. Where did your mother come from? <laughs> I know. My daughter never left this house. I know. I know. It's her relationship. You should never tell your daddy, like, Hello. it's your daddy who's going to have big like. Yeah, don't pretend your daddy is a man. Just maybe a final question is, what about being a woman in Northern Ireland? Do you think it has changed a lot? Oh, you know, yes. Thinking about from when you grew up now, yeah, is, it, yeah, is it better, is it easier to be a woman here? Is it yeah. harder? What do you think? Yeah, it's easier because uh, oh, my mother's easy. had it harder, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? My mum used to have the big bath out in the back with and the white clothes. clothes. That's right. Know, had no washing machine. But the men, the the men had it. to say. But women's rights have changed. Oh, oh wow. Uh-huh. That's it. Definitely like, I can remember my mum being scared uh-huh. if she hadn't had her, the dinner on the oh, table. Why? For a certain time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because she's going to get the slop. That's wrong, you know? isn't it? Yes. Hello. That men dominate you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they got awful beatings, the woman. My mummy got Because the dinner person. wasn't ready. But there was no money for he had drank the money on the way home from the shipyard mm-hmm. and gambled the money. And my daddy would have gambled. I know. So where my daddy would have gambled. And uh, my mummy just said, oh. Yes, but then there was a, um, one of the girls, her husband uh, dropped dead out, uh, down the old park road. So, um, and my mummy had said, uh, <laughs> my dad had been looking out to the bookies to put on a bed. My mummy had said, come you straight out. Out of there, but he never did. He wouldn't have got him out. And at Chris Boxing Day was terrible. Your dinner after we. <laughs> oh, she'd have sent Tom out for my daddy. And Tom would have said, see your daddy. He said, maybe you can't, you just, you know, just when he wants to come out, he comes out. To the dinner barretta. It was terrible. It really was. I can remember hearing the no women stairs. like starting out say factory gates, waiting on their men coming Come out on a Friday, because they wouldn't have got if they didn't get the money then. They wouldn't have got it like the wages. Mm-hmm. Well, my daddy did. He walked to work in the morning. They went into station road. And the bets was put on. Mm-hmm. It was quite, my mummy always said when he retired, she says, I've never had as much money since he has retired. <laughs> and she took over the money then. <laughs> and she talked <laughs> honestly. I know. These Dear lover, and she saved. Money. She really saved. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, and was unbelievable. But daddy just, oh, gosh. Just a week. There was an awful lot like uh-huh. him. I have a brother. Your daddy was terrible at the, at the bookies. Thank God, but there's another addiction. Like, it is an addiction. It is, yeah. He used to smoke, but at least she got him off the smoking. Mm-hmm. He used to smoke, oh, she got him off that all right. But it was hard on her, oh, hard on my mummy. My mummy worked hard. Oh, no, she did. The yeah. She did, really. And my daddy was, and she always said that. I never had as much money to eat, to eat even tired. <laughs> and then he worked on that wee bit longer. And then we went to uh, we went to Spain every year for our holidays, and we went to Spain. And <laughs> it, it, my mummy loved going to it because in those days there was no bookies in it. You see, no, in Spain, no. <laughs> there is now. Oh, it was great. That's why she, that's why we went there every year because my daddy it was great. The four of us were there, and we were always together. But he he wasn't. <laughs> He always loved to get all bookies, and it was great. And that's what we're saying now. When your dad, uh, my, our Natalie says, my granddad was over late now, he doesn't mean all that. In heaven. They would have been in Bangor. They stayed in Bangor, took a house in Bangor, and would have been down there. Mummy and Daddy would have stayed with uh, my sister and, and uh, what I call it. And uh, he'd, he'd have been down there and said, Where are you going, Granda? I'm going into the chemist. <laughs> <laughs> And even down, the, even down to the chemist, he was always going to the chemist. <laughs> <laughs> and the, no. never said, but 
But I had some sense, she definitely was. Mama was able to save and give me money in order to keep out of the house. Mm-hmm. No, she says she can't get it now. <laughs> but he stuck to it and then, day of love him. I know. Night. He worked on and that's what happened that day, that time, one of the years in, in, um, <laughs> in Benidorm, he um, broke his teeth, you know, on the, and you know the baguettes that you get, yes. you, you get those baguettes. <laughs> and when we come home, she had to get them and she said, yes, we'll see you. See if you hadn't worked on, I wouldn't have had to pay for these. We wouldn't have had to pay for these teeth. <laughs> because, had yes, they had a pension. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> and my mum used to give off to oh dear, and she used to say to him, um, the two of them sat side beside, uh, uh, the fireplace was in the middle and they were on either side, and you got the best laugh of the two of them. Everybody roared at them when we were in. And they just sat in my mum and said, she said, see if uh, I've had, I had my way, she said, I'd burn all the bookies. <laughs> <laughs> my daddy says, I know what I would do. I'd burn all the churches. I <laughs> the two of them. Oh, oh, that's right. That's, that's what he like said. That's Francis kid. You know what that's the way. Oh. Well, I'll well, feel say to her. He'll say to her, you're obsessed by these churches. He uh-huh. says, why did you come up with me to the, your, the bowling up at <laughs> Bellingham Martin? <laughs> and uh, she says, no, I'm quite happy the way I am. And he says, ah. Uh, all you hear is church, church, church. She says, you're not here from you, I'll fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> she would have been sitting, Mama, you know, the, the home that's opposite us. Yes. The final court. And I uh, used to see, there was two of them out of the church lived in it. And they would have been coming down Manor Street. And my dad would have been sitting just after having us nothing here. He'd been, here's her cronies coming, I'm away to the, I'm away out. <laughs> he went away to the boogies and Mary and her sister would have come in. No, them sitting at the ah. chip shop. Ah. Ah, dear. Unbelievable.